which step we done uh, we done in accounts group none completed yes sir so now we start for Shall retained ma'am ma'am go ahead ma'am somebody say something so define retained earning account define retained earning account everyone concentrate everyone i will ask one question everyone can anybody says i will ask one question what is meant by tr tr means transaction code transaction code tr and transaction code somebody says transaction transport request sir ஒன்ஸ்டாண்ட் <laughs> retained earning account tr means tr is help to move the configurational data one system to another system one client to another client okay and uh, my dear students my dear students concentrate everyone concentrate here uh, what is mean by retained earning account basically basically every year every end of the year we will prepare financial statement example profit and loss account and balance sheet balance sheet from profit and loss account to balance sheet we can move net profit or net loss agree or not yes or no net profit or net loss we can move profit and loss account to balance sheet net profit or net loss we can move or we can copy a uh, profit and loss account to balance sheet every profit and loss account to balance sheet so this retained earning account everyone concentrate everyone retained earning account retained earning account is help to move the net profit or net loss profit and loss account to balance sheet i'm repeating one second everyone i'm repeating one second retained earning account is similar to tr transport request is the move the configurational data one system to another system or one client to another client retained earning account is help to move net profit or net loss profit and loss account to balance sheet basically this is year end activity basically this is year end activity but sap suggest to create the retained earning account to map the retained earning account configurational activity we will do in during the implementation project i mean during the implementation project but uh, financial i mean in the future coming classes it will come how to generate financial statement how to see profit and loss account how to see balance sheet everything will come later we create retained earning account assign retained earning account we want to do during the implementation project or during the implementation basically this is year end activity but we want to do during the implementation configuration we do during the implementation very simple note it on one note everyone note it on one note for your understanding purpose note it on one note retained earning account is retained earning account is comes under reserves and surplus comes under reserves and surplus
நெக்ஸ்ட் லைன் நோட்டினோம் நெக்ஸ்ட் லைன் நோட்டினோம் இட் இஸ் இட் இஸ் ஹெல்ப் இட் இஸ் ஹெல்ப் to move net profit and net loss to move net profit and net loss profit and loss account date loss account to profit and loss account to balance sheet profit and loss account to balance it next line noted on basically this is the activity basically this is the activity at year end year end but sap suggest sap suggest create the g create retained earning account gl and assign retained earning account gl during the implementation project or during the implementation sir can you repeat it uh, but sap suggest create retained earning account gl and assign wait for 1 minute sir next line note it down create gl account on the t code next line note it down you can give the space create retained earning account on the t code fs00 assign retained earning account t code ob53 basically during the implementation we have to do two activities one is retained earning account gl creation t code fs00 one is retained earning account mapping t code is called ob53 t code is called ob53 why we are creating why we are assigning what is the use of this this activity help to move net profit and net loss profit and loss account data profit and loss account to balance sheet uh, sandeep ma'am can you please read the note uh, deva please check now anyone please read uh, yes sir yeah. uh, note retained earning account comes under reserves and surplus it has helped to move net profit and net loss from pl uh, profit and loss account to balance sheet basically this is the activity at year end but sap suggests to create the retained earning account gl and assign the retained earning account gl create gl earning account retained earning account uh, t code fs00 assign retained earning account uh, t code ob53 here uh, something you missed madam so sap suggested 
create retained earning account, uh, assign retained earning account on implementation during the implementation. Okay, sir. Okay, yeah. Understood, Deva? Devan, right? Sorry. Yes, sir. Everyone. So what, what I want to do, everyone here, what I want to do, I want to create the GL. I want to assign the GL. So if I if I create, maybe you people will going to confuse. GL creation will come maybe after two classes. After two classes, uh, GL creation will come. That time I will show you how to create the GL. So for the retained earning account purpose, I can reserve one number, everyone. I can reserve one number. That number I will going to assign in retained earning account. Guys, listen careful. Listen. Here, two activity I want to do. One is retained earning account creation. One is retained earning account assignment. Creation, I will tell you later. Maybe after two classes or after three classes. That time I will tell you. For this purpose, I will reserve one number. Number is called double one double zero double zero. This number I can going to map. On this number I will create later. First I will make it as a mapping now. Clear? Clear so far? Yes? No? What I am telling? Understood? Yes, yes, no? Yes. yes. So how yes. to assign this, this one? How to assign? Where to assign? How to assign? Very simple, everyone. Very simple. And what is the path? This is the path, everyone. SPRO, financial accounting, general ledger accounting, master data, GL account, preparation, defined retained earning account. So you already know straight path and all. Thank you, Mother. Mm, okay. Up. Sit there at night. So here, let's open SAP. Bye. So everyone are able to hear my voice, are able to see my screen? Yes, no? Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, SPRO, enter, SAP reference IMG, select your financial accounting, finance general ledger accounting, master record, GL account, preparation, then here, this one. Define retained earning account. Define retained earning account. You just double click on this execute button and give it here your chart of accounts. What is our chart of accounts? RMOC. Did you remember? RM operational chart of accounts. Sir, I am unable to remember this RMOC. What can I do? Here you want to enter your chart of accounts. So click on your browse in case if you are not remember, all the chart of accounts will come. So you can select your chart of accounts. My chart of accounts is RMOC, RM this one, RM operational chart of accounts. Then click on your OK, OK, continue. And here you want to assign. Here you want to assign. Let's observe this. RM operational chart of accounts. Balance carry forward profit and loss account to balance it. And here you want to assign the GL number. I'm repeating once again for my satisfaction. I'm repeating once again, everyone. And uh, this is the path. And how I can see the T code? Additional information, additional information, display keys, and IMG activities. Last four digit is the T code OB53. You just double click on this execute button. Double click on this execute button. Give it here your chart of accounts. Click on your OK. Then here profit and loss account. Then GL number. Here you can put X everyone standard. 
here you can put x is a standard sap suggested and here you can enter gl number whatever number you reserve now you can enter that gl number gl number you can enter then press enter enter see one warning message will come yellow message warning message double one double zero double zero warning message will come you can ignore it press enter again and save everyone how many uh, types of messages anybody knows how many types of messages basically we have uh, no no we have four types of messages everyone four types of messages if uh, yellow color will come message is yellow color message is yellow color it is just for the warning you can ignore it if it is blue color will come it is just for the information even this is also you can ignore it in case if you want and if green color will come this is called success successfully done success if red message will come this is the error if red message will come this is the error you have to resolve otherwise you are unable to go next step how many types of messages will show the sap yellow message blue message green message and red message yellow message just for the warning blue message just for the information green message is success red message is error you have to resolve it note it on this Done. Noted. Done. 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 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any questions about chart of accounts? Any questions? No questions. Can you put the heading of physical year and posting period? Put the heading of physical year and posting period. Noted down these steps, everyone. Note it on this five, one, two, three, four, five steps. Maintain physical year. Put, put the heading of physical year and posting period. And note it down. Note it down these five steps. Don't write path. You can write just heading. That's it. Don't write the path. You can write just heading every. Done, completed. Yes, sir. Completed, huh? very fast. Done, everyone. Remaining people done. Hare Krishna. Yes, no, guys. What happened? Yes, yes sir. Yes, no. Yes. Remaining people done. Yes, no. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
So my dear students, put the heading of physical year. Try to understand physical year, everyone. The very, 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 very important. Some especially non-commerce students, kindly focus here. Non-commerce students, kindly focus. Try to understand more, actually. Everyone, concentrate it, everyone. Um, for example, everyone, for example, physical year. Physical year. Physical year, nothing but financial year. Financial year. My dear students, in the SAP terminology, we are we want to call as a physical year. In the general accounting terminology, the people are called as a financial year. Both are same. In SAP terminology, they will call physical year. General accounting terminology, they will call financial year for all batches. In English, we are called as a water. In Telugu, we are called as a manchinillu. In Tamil, we are called as a tanni. Like objective is same. Objective is same. Same way, SAP terminology and general terminology. Everyone, here you can concentrate here. Here you can concentrate here. For example, everyone, uh, what is the Indian financial year? Reply once. Indian financial April year. To April to March. April to March. American financial year. January, January. to December. Japan? Uh, same as India. And China? Don't know, sir. Maybe from April to March. August to September. Singapore? Everyone? Uh, this is your homework, everyone. Minimum 20 countries. Financial year. You can write Take the screenshot, I mean, take the picture and post it into the group. Everybody. Okay. 20 countries financial year. India, what is the financial year? US, what is the financial year? Canada, what is the financial year? Europe, what is the financial year? You can write 20 countries with financial year on paper. Take the picture and send it to the group. Clear? Clear? Not now. Later. Clear so far? Yes, now? Yes, sir. Yes sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. For example, for example, everyone. In India, we have the financial year. In India, we have the financial year. April to March. April to March. For example, as for the, for example, everyone. As for the normal terminology, as for the general terminology, we are called as a 20, 24 to 20, 25. And here, uh, 20, 25 to 20, 26. And uh, 20, 26 to uh, and 20, 27. Like this, we can pronounce. Agree or not? Basically, we can pronounce like this. 2024 to 2025, 2025 to 2026, 2026 to 2027, like that we can pronounce. But here in the SAP terminology, simply you can call 2024 to 2025 means simply you can call 2024. And here you can call 2025. Here you can call 2026. 2026. So not required to 2024 to 2025, 2025 to 2026. Don't call like that. So basically, as for the calendar year, as for the calendar year, year, year start from the January, end from the December. Year start from the January, end from the December. But as for the financial year, as for the financial year, 
we have 12 normal periods 12 normal periods and four special periods every month for every year 12 normal periods and four special periods so as for the calendar year jan to december jan to december as for the financial year as for the financial year as for the financial year it is april to march it is april to march april to march everyone concentrate here april to march as for the calendar year year start from the january as for the financial year year start from the april year start from the april it is not start from the january it is start from the april it is start from the april for example everyone april for example april is the first month april is the first month then uh, example non commerce students for your purpose concentrate here may june and uh, july uh, august september example september october and november december now here you can concentrate here here this is called 0 2 and uh, 0 3 and 0 4 and uh, 0 5 and uh, 0 6 and uh, 0 7 and uh, 0 8 and uh, 0 9 guys this is called april may june july august september october november december and here as for the calendar year as for the calendar year everyone january means here as per the calendar year january means year will going to change as per the calendar year january means year will going to change but as per the financial year as per the financial year january means year will never change 2025 2025 example april this is this is the april may june july august september october november december 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 is the ninth month as for the financial year december is the 12th month as per the calendar year as per the calendar year this is the 12th month but as per the financial year this is the ninth month and here, as per the calendar year here year will going to change we are jumping into the next year but as per the financial year we are not jumping into the next year so january is the 10th month january is the 10th month february is the 11th month february is the 11th month march is the 12th month march is the 12th month now april april means now we are jumping into the 2025 now we are jumping into the 2025 everyone i am repeating once again 2024 start from the april end from the march example example everyone april is the first month april is the first month may is the second month like that april may june july like that december december is the which month everyone december is the ninth month 
January is the 10th month. February is the 11th month. 11th month of whom? 2024. January is the 10th month of 2024. February is the 11th month of 2024. March is the 12th month of 2024. Now again, April. April is the first month of 2025. Guys, clear? Clear so far? Yes, no? Understood what I am telling? Non-commerce students, yes? Yes, sir. Yes. So here you can say ex commerce students, they know, but non-commerce students focus here. April to March. When the 2024 start? April onwards. When the 2024 end? March. For example, everyone, I'm repeating once again for my satisfaction. My satisfaction. Decem December 2024. December 2024. As per the financial year, that is the ninth month of 2024. Ninth month of 2024. January is the tenth month of 2024. February is the eleventh month of 2024. March is the twelfth month of 2024. April is the first month of 2025. So again, same way, 2025, start from the April. Start from the April. Same way, April, May, June, July, August, September. Again, December is the ninth month of 2025. Uh, January is the tenth month of 2025. February is the eleventh month of 2025. March is the twelfth month of 2025. Again, April is... First month of 2026. Clear? Clear so far? Are you following? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So basically, yes, sir. very good, very good, everyone. Very good. So in the general accounting terminology, we are called and 2024 to 2025, 2025 to 2026, 2026 to 2027, like that. But in the SAP terminology, we are called simply 2024, 2025, 2026 like that. Here we are called as a financial year. Here we are called as a physical year. So my dear students, concentrate here. I will tell you one more thing. Concentrate here, everyone. Concentrate here. Basically, basically everyone, concentrate here. Who have... 12 normal periods, 12 normal periods and 4 special periods everyone, 4 special periods, 4 special periods, example April, May, June, July, August, everyone try to understand here, what is the difference between Normal periods and special periods. What is the difference between normal periods and the special period? Example again, um, April to uh, April, May, June, July. Example, July. <coughs> Example, everyone, concentrate here. Concentrate it, my dear students. Normal periods. For example, here you can concentrate here, everyone. Concentrate here. Concentrate here, my dear students. In this normal periods, April to March, we can post day-to-day -day business transactions, monthly business transactions, and yearly business transaction. So March is the year will going to close. After completion of March, Four special period means, everyone concentrate here. Four special period means within four months, within four months, auditor want to come and he will verify all the books of account, April to March. And he can suggest to 
post auditor adjustment accounting entries auditor adjustment accounting entries everyone concentrate here everyone four special period means within four months auditor want to come and he will he want to verify all the books of accounts and he can also suggest to post some adjustment accounting entries this special period to post auditor adjustment accounting entries this normal periods to post day to day business transaction monthly business transaction and yearly business transaction so how many periods total total 16 periods actually total 16 periods 12 we can everyone uh, i may be lot of accountants in our class when the auditor will come after completion of financial year or before completion of financial year when the auditor will come please respond after completion after completion financial year ah very good everyone after completion of financial year only auditor will come and he will verify books of accounts then here you want to ask one question sir how to post normal accounting entries how to post special accounting entries special means auditor adjustment accounting entries don't worry about that my dear students i will show you during the accounting entry posting i will show you how to post the accounting entries in normal periods how to post accounting entries in special periods Special periods means auditor adjustment accounting entries. Normal periods means day-to-day -day accounting entries, monthly accounting entries, Hare Krishna, yearly accounting entries like that. Okay. Clear so far? Yes, no? Okay. What? Do you understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Sir. Uh -huh. Okay, so can you please note it down this everyone for your understanding. Write full form, special period, April to March like that. Yeah, noted everyone. No, sir. Done, sir. Done. Yes, sir. Done. Note it down, but not everyone. Note it down, one note for your understanding purpose. In SAP, in SAP, we have two types of periods. One is normal periods and one is special periods. Basically, you have one question actually. How to post the accounting entries in normal periods? How to post accounting entries in special period? Please hold this question some days. Maybe, uh, maybe after one week, I will show you how to post the accounting entries in normal periods 
and how to close the accounting entries in special periods. Okay. No it on everyone. Normal periods we can use. Normal periods we can use. Post day to day business transactions, monthly business transactions, and yearly business transaction. Lakshman joined. Huh? Lakshman. Lakshman ji, are you there? Yes, sir. Are you following Lakshman? Yes, no? Yes, yes, yes. Very good, very good. Ah, very good. Next one. Special periods. We can use. We can use. Post auditor adjustment accounting entries. Auditor adjustment accounting entries. Everyone, here uh, one some more this example. This is period one. Zero one means normal periods, and zero two means uh, special period. In S four, Hana zero three also introduced. 03 also introduced for CO postings. CO postings. Basically, in ECC, I will show you what is the difference between ECC and S4. Here, only in ECC, we have normal periods and special period. In S4, HANA, one more period also introduced that is called uh, for CO postings. During the CO, I will explain. Okay. During the CO, I will explain. Not required now. Uh, my dear students, listen careful. Listen careful. So, how to set up? How to set up financial year? How to set up financial year? So, guys, concentrate here. First one, define physical year variant. Assign company code to physical year variant. So, how to define physical year? Everyone, just listen the class. Don't open SAP. Don't see mobiles. Okay. Listen the class. Just listen. Okay. You want 1 lakh rupee salary per month. Then you can listen. No sir. I am happy with 20,000. You can watch mobile. You can think here and there. Here and there. Here and there. Focus. Focus the class. Your mind. Your mind also want to focus. If you want 1 lakh rupee salary. If you want 2 lakh rupee salary. Then focus the class. Listen the class. No, sir, I am very happy with 20,000. Then add your wish. Okay. Yes, no. Yes, no. Okay. Say yes, no. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Everyone, do you want 2 lakh rupees salary? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, everyone. Other people may be not required. They are not saying yes. Okay, let it be. <clears throat> so, if you are not saying yes now, in the future, you don't want to ask about job. If you say yes, then you want to serve some reference and all you people ask. You do not say yes, quick bite, then don't want to ask. Okay, clear? Okay, let it be. Uh, so now, everyone, concentrate here, everyone. My dear students, how to set up financial year? How to set up financial year? Concentrate here, everyone. Very important. So this is the path, everyone. SPRO, financial accounting, financial accounting global setting, ledger, fiscal year and posting period, and maintain fiscal year variant. This is the one, everyone. Maintain fiscal year variant. Very simple. An SAP is very easy, but something is lengthy. That's it. Listen careful. Now I'm in SAP home screen. Go to SPRO, enter. 
SAP reference IMG, select your financial accounting, financial accounting global setting, and here uh, ledgers, fiscal year and posting period, this one everyone. Maintain fiscal year and main assign company code to fiscal year. Example everyone, if I want to see the T code, how I can see? In case this is the path, if you want to see the T code, how I can see? Go to additional information. Very good, everyone. Everybody get two lakhs rupees salary. Very good. Appreciate. Thanks for responding, everyone. And uh, maintain fiscal year. T code is called OB29. Assign company code to fiscal year OB37. My dear students, concentrate here. Listen, listen, everyone, listen. So, for example, if you want to understand more information, what is meant by physical year, why, what, you just go through this document. This document can explain more why, what, when, blah, 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 XYZ. Okay. And uh, no, sir, we understood. Then what we can create. So, you just double click on this execute button, everyone. You just double click on this execute button. So, here there is a standard. Uh, uh, financial years there is a standard financial year maybe some people deleted uh, no for example everyone in case if you are not interested to create new you can assign you can use existing financial years example here you can concentrate everyone Basically, let's take uh, July to example, everyone here, July to June for four special period. Hare Krishna, one second. Are able to hear my voice? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One second, one second. Some... So here, everyone, there is a standard uh, physical years is there. Example, uh, you know, uh, V6, July to June. V9 September October to September, then V4 April to March. Basically, V3 standard. Okay, V3 April to March, and uh, here there is a standard one. If you go to K, if you go to K, K series is the Jan to December. Everyone, K series is the Jan to December. So a lot of people is deleting standard configuration. Don't delete everyone. Don't delete. Okay. For example, calendar year and four special period. Calendar year means Jan to December. If it is calendar year, you want to click on this tick mark. If it is not calendar year, don't click on this tick mark. Example, everyone, here you can observe here. Here you can observe. April to March is not a calendar year. You don't, they don't click on here. Okay. In case it is John to December, John to December means you want to click on here. See somebody wrongly configured. October to September, is this calendar year? No, but that people is click on this tick mark means they did something is mistake. So everyone, concentrate here, my dear students, listen careful, listen everyone, I'm, I'm repeating once again. Double click on this execute button. Here in your system, select V3 standard. V3 standard, okay. That is April to March. Select V3, April to March. Or K4, yeah, Jan to December. In case if you are configure uh, US company code. And select here V3. Somebody deleted here in your system. V3 is there. Select that. What is that? April to March, everyone. April to March. And here, click on your copy as. Select V3 in your system, April to March. Click on your copy as. Click on your copy as. No, sir, I don't want to create a new one. I can create a existing one. Is this any wrong? Nothing is wrong. In case if you want to use the standard, you can use it. But my suggestion is, let's try to create your own. That can be more hands-on experience. Select here V4. Click on here Copy As. 
I mean, in your system, select V3, click on your copy as. Your setup here, any two digit for the identification of your financial year. I'm set up here R3 and uh, write the description and uh, write the description. Here you can write uh, RM, RM April to March and for special period. In case it is a calendar year, you can click on this tick mark. It is not a calendar year. Don't click on this tick mark. Then one more is called this one. Year dependent. Year dependent or year independent. Everyone, now I am creating R3 everyone. Now I am creating R3. This R3, in case if I want to use only current year, Next year, if I want to use new new variant, new variant, then click on here year dependent. No, sir, this R3 I can use this year, next year, next year, next year, subsequent year. Then don't click on this tick mark. It is called year independent. I'm repeating one second. I'm repeating one second, everyone. Year dependent and year independent. Year dependent and uh, year independent. One second. Hello. Hello. Yes, is there any problem or internet can sir's voice is not coming? Even I am no, sir, sir, sir asked us to wait for a while.
everyone are you there yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yeah very good i appreciate it so everyone here you can consolidate here and uh, set up your r3 and set up your any two digit and write the description in case it is a calendar year click on this tick mark it is not a calendar year don't click on this the target is year dependent and year independent year dependent and year independent year dependent means if you click on this tick mark this r3 can work only this year next year i want to create one more variant okay and if i am not click on this tick mark means this is year independent so this r3 can work subsequent year this year next year next year next year not required to create new here four 12 normal periods and four special periods so maximum you can set six special periods six means within after completion of financial year within six months uh, they want to come and they can do the auditing and if I click on here, four minutes, within four months, they want to come and they want to audit. Max, minimum one and maximum six. But SAP suggested four. Okay, four special period for auditor adjustment accounting entry purpose. Auditor adjustment accounting entry purpose. Okay, then press enter. So R3, somebody already, someone already used. I can take uh, R2, enter, yeah, copy all, don't click on only copy, copy all, yes, and save. I'm repeating everyone, I'm repeating once again, I'm repeating once again for my satisfaction, I'm repeating once again. And uh, come to this path double click on this execute button and select here standard v3 you in your system select here standard v3 select any okay april to march click on your copy ash set up here any two digit don't be on a duplicate write the description 12 and 4 press enter copy all and save my dear students here you can observe what we created everyone r2 right my one which one my ones R2, huh? what I created? Yes, sir. R2, sir. R2. Select here R2. Here you can observe one thing, everyone. Very, very important thing you can observe. Select here R2, whatever you created. Double click on periods, everyone. Double click on periods. Here you can observe one thing, everyone. Here you can observe one thing. <laughs> Here you can observe one thing, everyone. Ma uh, here, from here, you can start from here. As for April, is a fourth month. April, this is as for the calendar year. This is as for the financial year. You can observe this. Then you will get more points, everyone. You will get more points. You can observe this, okay? And... Uh, April as for the financial year, sorry, as for the calendar year, April is the fourth month. April is the first month. April is the fourth month. April is the first month. As for the calendar year is the fourth. As for the financial year is first. But this April 2024, as for the financial year, as for the fiscal year, both are 2024. It's become zero. And if you check here, if you check here, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, tenth, let's see here. Let's observe here. Even eleventh, twelfth. As per the calendar year, twelfth is a December. December is a twelfth month. But as per the financial year, it's a ninth month. And both are 2024, 20, zero. But if you go to first month, if you go to January, 
January is the first month of 2025. But it is a 10th month of 2024. 2024 minus 2025 minus 1 will come. You can observe here minus 1. February is that second month, but it is a 11th month of 2024. 2024 minus 2025 minus 1 will come. Same way. You can observe after configure, you can observe this one. Okay. Understood everyone what I am telling? Yes, no, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then again, the last step is next step is assign your financial year to your company codes. Double click on this. And next one, everyone. Next step. <clears throat> assign company code to physical year. Variant. Double click on this. Click on your position. Company code RM11. What is your physical year variant? R to a R2. R2. Here also R2. Press enter and save. Save. Questions, questions, please. Questions, please. Questions. Sir, I could not understand the year independent and year dependent when we are creating the fiscal year. For example, now I created R2, right? Yes, sir. If you click on that tick mark, R2 can work only 2024. Next year, you want to create one more variant. Mm. If you are not click on that tick mark, mm. it will become a year independent. This R2 can work this year, next year, next year, next year. Again, you are not required to create new variant. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. If we tick it, then it will be for that particular year only. Yeah, year only. If we don't. Uh, yeah. uh, if we don't tick it, then it will be go on. Uh, it it yes. will be on. Yeah. Year dependent and year independent. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Next question. Okay. Do not have any questions. Thank you, everyone. Meet tomorrow. Thank you, Thank sir. You, sir. Thank, you, Thank sir. you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.